In today's vlog, we have the cutest race car driver you ever did see. Jim Douglas. Not Jim Douglas, you. Who's Jim uh... Douglas? Good morning, Marmy. Happy Friday. Um, it is a long weekend here, so it is Good Friday. Happy Easter to everyone celebrating. I'm out taking Hudson for a quick walk because we're headed out to the movies. We're activating like fun mom. We are going to watch Sonic the Hedgehog 2 and uh, we haven't been to a movie theater like this year at all. It's like 10.30 a.m. I booked a 10.30 a.m. show because I figured it'd be less busy and we get to pre-book seats here and there's no capacity limits here in Canada anymore so or in Ontario anyways. So there's no spaces between people which makes me like slightly nervous which I know maybe is silly but I'm working on it. So yeah, I booked those tickets for 10.30. Walk this dog get in the car and let's go. And it is weird to like walk down the street in your neighborhood holding a camera, talking to yourself. No one knows that I make a fool of myself on the internet every day, it's like my job. The squirrel is just sitting on that fence over there and a nut, not even caring. Hudson, chill bro. Who liked the movie? Me, me, me. Would you guys like, okay, so which, uh, on a scale of one to 10, how would you rate Sonic 2? 10. What about you, Jota? Two. Really? Two? Yeah. You didn't oh, like it? Okay, Ajith, what about you? I liked it. Yeah, 10 out of 10? Yeah! What about you, Hybrid? Oh, that was good. What's your rating? Uh, seven? Seven, yeah, I think it's about a seven as well, but I thought it was entertaining, I thought it was fun. I watched the whole movie, I wasn't distracted, which is good, it's a good sign it was entertaining. And Jim Carrey's always funny. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Jim Carrey is the guy who played Dr. Robotnik or Robotnik, whatever his name is. So yes, it's a good movie if you haven't seen it. And we ate lots of popcorn. That was my breakfast today, popcorn. Wait, really? Yeah. So Ajith is heavily inspired by Rocky. He's going to show you his Rocky exercises. Good job. Are you getting training to be the next Rocky, Ajith? Yeah. One more move. What is that one called? The circle. -y. The circle. -y. Okay. So well, we were just uh, trying to get coffee into us and now we're playing basketball. So now we're going to a basketball court to play basketball. I'm going to play basketball, guys. Last time I beat Jora and Kabir. You guys got something to say? Nothing. He's speechless. Speechless. We rented this little court for an hour. Oh, track rate. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay, go. So Jora and Kabir each beat me in 1v1, so we're done. We're done. My moment of glory last Stop. week, it's done. Good morning. Happy Saturday. Um, I finished the coffee that I made already, so now it's time for tea. Kids are going to like a basketball clinic, like I don't know, like skills clinic or something today. Their new season actually starts up, I think, next weekend or the weekend after that, I'm not sure. But their new season hasn't started yet. Um, but there's this free like skills clinic they're going to. Um, Ajita's here somewhere. I want to take a second to just, you know, keep something really real with you guys because I often hear, you know, Tina, I don't know how you do this with three kids or do like, you know, like just all kinds of things. It's praise and it's wonderful. And I thank everyone for being so nice to me. But yesterday after the movie, we decided to go to lunch and I didn't vlog that because it didn't go so smoothly. Um, and that's all I'm going to say about it. Um, but it didn't go so smoothly. Um, and then day could have ended on a um, frustrated note but it didn't because then we decided to go to basketball and everything worked out there. So um, the reason I'm even sharing this is because I think we really need to keep it real here and acknowledge that you're seeing people's highlight reel all over social media. And so even though I try to present myself as authentically as I can, I don't share all the hard moments or all the challenging moments of parenting life, whatever it is here on this channel or even on Instagram or anywhere else. So social media is not real life. I share this often, but I thought it was time for a refresh on that. It just, yeah, I can be here looking like a hot mess, but it doesn't mean I share everything, everything, little detail of things that were hard or difficult. And as you saw from yesterday, it's just not a part of the vlog, right? So I want to share that. So if you're feeling like, you know, you're seeing all these people doing all this stuff, whatever, and you're like, why can't I do that? What, you know, it's just, it's never as smooth as you think it is. And I, the one thing I will say is that even though lunch was on a tough note in the evening, we still made it to basketball. So I will not stop trying, that's for sure. Even though it's difficult to take, you know, all three kids to different places, like, I, I don't stop trying. So if there's anything I can tell you, it's just, 
just keep trying and sometimes it'll work out great and sometimes it doesn't. I've actually had a couple of people mess with me to be like, oh, well, don't you think now that your life would have been easier if you had one kid? And I was like, I have no regret over having three kids. And yes, at times it can be challenging to have three kids, but at the same time, it can be challenging to have one kid. So I, I really think that, that those messages that people send me sometimes are from people who are not parents, right? Who people who don't actually have kids. I have no regret over the number of kids I have. And I think that sometimes we tell people that they can't say that things are hard because they made a choice. Like I made a choice to have three kids. Like none of, none of this was a mistake. I had a choice to have three kids. I had a choice to have them close in age. You're not allowed to say that something is hard or challenging because you made that choice yourself. And I think that's really flawed. Like people are allowed to share things that are challenging with them. That's how we get through life by sharing things with other people. I've had people, you know, come to me and say like, you know, you do all this with three kids and I'm barely, um, I'm barely getting by with, with one or people will be like, oh, you have three kids. Oh, so-and-so has five and she's still managing to do this, this or that. Like, good for them. Doesn't matter if you have one kid, three kids, five kids, doesn't matter what it is. People can have challenges at any stage of their life. People without kids can have many challenges and, you know, feel overwhelmed or whatever it is. So we need to stop like telling people that they're not allowed to feel how they feel. And I'm just ranting now on a Saturday morning. I am actually going to make some dal now because I need to prep lunch, but I'm also going to be going over popping by like a friend's this afternoon just for a couple of minutes. The passion project that I've been working on. And thank you guys so, so much for the love, like in the comments about that. It's so far for me to even share it to you, like, like maybe well over a year, like likely well over a year from sharing with you guys, but it's just something that I'm devoted so much time, energy, effort, and money to that um, I'm really excited to see it come to life. So anyways, I'm popping by this friend's house because I need to get their feedback on it. I need feedback. I'm doing a bit of market research with uh, a couple of people to sort of get their feedback on it. So um, I'm gonna pop by to do that this afternoon. Other than that, Harpy will continue to dismantle the ice rink. He actually took one of the walls off. Let me show you guys. <laughs> I can't show you through my door, it's so dirty. But yeah, he took like the, um, the wood planks down on that side so the water can continue draining out. But as you can see, it's just a little bit left there. The rest of it's all dry. We were going to patch this ice rink, that uh, this tarp. That was the plan to use next year. However, Harper took a look at it yesterday when he was like taking the wood planks off because he was going to go patch it. And he's like, Tim, there's so many like little holes all over where it touch any of the wood. And he was saying like, cause he's part of a Facebook group and a lot of those people have never been able to reuse a tarp. Um, so I told Harper, I'm like, I don't know if we want to take this risk. Like if there's so many small holes in it, next year when we set it up, do we really want to take the risk of like setting it up and having it not freeze or have water leaking? Because I've been through the redo ice rink thing before and I don't want to go through that again. So it looks like we're going to clean this off. Harper was saying maybe we can sell it not as an ice rink liner, but like people have use for these really large tarps. So um, a couple of small holes for someone else, depending on what they're using for, it doesn't matter. So he was saying maybe he'll sell it and then we will have to get a new tarp for next year. Ice rink's gonna be gone and we'll have some of the yard back. And hopefully when the water dries out, Hudson can have some doggy play dates in the back. I can spend more time in the back. Yeah, looking forward to bringing my chairs out there and living living the nice warm spring life. Okay, so today in the Instapot, we're making mot doll. So it looks like let me show you this on my hair. So it looks like this. Um, it doesn't take that long to cook. The issue I ran into is I'm actually out of onion. So I'm making it without onion. So people who like cook the food are gonna be like, oh my God, I can't believe you're doing this. Which you actually can cook it without onion. There's a lot of recipes that cook without onion and garlic, but I'm just omitting the onion, which will impact the flavor for sure. But it's not bad because sometimes you can do that or like the, what do they call it? The tempering, the tomato tempering, whatever, with just um, cumin seeds. Like you don't have to use onion. So. I'm only in this situation because I don't have any onions. I can't believe I'm out of onions. Like I'm a brown mom. How could I let this happen? But here we are. The big kids should be home from basketball, this basketball thing really soon. So I'm gonna have like lunch ready so they can eat and then go about their day. And also I have to head out to my friend's th house for that thing I need to do. So um, I want everyone fed before I go. In today's vlog, we have the cutest race car driver you ever did see. Jim Douglas. Not Jim Douglas, you. Who's Jim uh... Douglas? The racer of Herbie. Oh, the racer of Herbie. You think I'm calling him the cutest racer of all time? Uh, I'm calling you the cutest racer of all time. He's the biggest racer. Is he? You call him the biggest racer. Okay, I can call him the biggest racer of all time, but you are the cutest racer of all time. Yes, yeah, I ain't talking about Jim Douglas. And recently, last night, Ajit watched Rocky Four and Rocky Three, and now Ajit is really into boxing. I don't know about this. You don't know about this? Yeah, you were doing exercising. You were copying Rocky's moves. So all, all evening, uh, all of them were like doing Rocky moves. But we have to get out exercise. Never mind, bye bye. Now he's like, the older one's like, see you later vlog. Okay, doll is done. Turned out decent, tastes pretty good. 
Okay, about to go in and order Jorah's cake. Jorah is going to get a Raptor's cake. Hopefully we're they have the design. We're going to get three of them. Could be so, so we're going to get one for his actual birthday, one for his birthday party, one for all of us because I can't stand just waiting and looking at it. So he wants a cake to eat right now. That's not going to happen, kids. Oh, look at Jorah, Jorah, I found it. I found it. Is that the one you want? Jorah. That was easy. Jorah, I found it. I found it. Is that the one you want, Jordan? Yeah, I found it. Yeah? Uh, you can look through if you want to. Jordan, Jordan, look at him. Look oh, I want this. Look this. Uh, he's like, look at this. Okay, he saw it. He saw it. So I could not find any raptor themed things, but it said online they were available in stock when I checked like two weeks ago, which makes me feel like now they're no longer in those stores and I feel like I may not be able to get stuff in a week. So I'm gonna try my best or be creative. Snack time. Mom's homemade farmer's egg raptor beer. What do you think? Thumbs up? Okay. Yes? Thumbs up? Yes. Jota hasn't even started. Ajit, how are those grapes coming? Good. Good. Okay. <laughs> Ajit and mom dinner. We're still waiting for your brothers. Yeah. What did you get? Pizza. Pizza's his favorite, favorite, favorite. So this is a special treat because we haven't been getting it as often. Although if you watch the vlogs since the weekend, you might see us eating it more than usual. Um, the Raptors playoff game is actually now. The kids want to go to the skating thing, so we agreed that we wouldn't watch the game live. We would watch it when they came home. So I'm trying to like stay off social media and all the things so I don't like learn what the score was or who won or whatever. So yeah, they should be home in the next, I think, 20 minutes. And then that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna stay up late and watch the Raptors game. I ordered Firehouse subs for Heartbreak and I. I don't know if you have Firehouse subs where you are. It's like something new. I've never, like it's a new chain here. Like I've never seen it before. So we're trying it out. We're having some veggie subs. That's what I felt like today. Strange, it's an odd thing. I haven't really craved a sub in a long time, so that's dinner tonight. All right, kids, I'm gonna wrap up this vlog here because I got a ton, a ton of stuff to do and my kids are off, obviously Sunday, but also Monday for Easter Monday. So I gotta catch up on all the work. Uh, I have a shoot that's gonna be on Tuesday, um, which got moved from last week because you know everyone's kid is sick or whatever. So yeah, so hopefully the shoot is gonna happen on Tuesday. So I hope you guys had fun joining us. And if you did join us again next time, if you enjoy our vlog, and videos, subscribe to the channel and stay well. Join the Marmy. March on, Marmy.